is pretty tricky. They have to be able to receive energy. They have to be able to communicate with one another. And they have to be able to move around, preferably without having any moving parts of their own. So several years ago, Carnegie Mellon researchers built atom cylindrical prototypes that were 44 millimeters in diameter. Now these things were able to move around on a two-dimensional plane, pushing and pulling against each other using electromagnetic. Imagine a technology that lets you create objects on the fly. A powerful medium for like billions of microscopic neurons. Fully automated.